Hello guys, do not be alarmed. It's Nikki here for another thrift haul. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I just happened to have done some thrifting um, in the last few days and I figured um, some stuff I've already watched because I didn't plan to do a video and some that I just got today is Sunday and I happened to stop by the Valley Village on my way home and they're having a sale 50 off clothing and accessories so I decided to just pop in I didn't know until I got in there because I I don't know I don't get their emails anymore so the sale is tomorrow but they're having their pre-sale today I believe yeah so anyway guys let's get started also I'm going to show you a few things that I got from maybe but I think I've washed most of them but I got um, something from Plato's closet which is this um, little tote I think it will be handy for me to take it to work with my snacks and my lunch and you know my little magazines and stuff that I read on my commute to work I do commute by train so this is a nice medium-sized tote in really good condition has a little pouch in there and definitely um, something that I will use and I know what the purpose I'm gonna I, I didn't just buy it just to buy it sake I bought it with a purpose in mind so yes guys um, there's some other Plato's Claudette things but I think that I picked up today on my way home from church I am actually wearing a thrifted sweater this has some bows with some pearls attached I love this little sweater and I usually pull it out um, in the Christmas season um, yeah so a couple weeks or I don't know when some time ago I picked up this um, velvet blazer and I thought this was perfect for the holidays. Um, definitely this green, holly green color is definitely a good one. I can wear this to my church services and so on. And I actually saw Michelle Obama on Ellen's show, Ellen's giveaway show. And she had on an exact blazer like this in velvet, single breasted, just or one button. The only thing hers had like gold. Or brass um, buttons but this is suits me just fine it looks just like this um, and I definitely had the holidays in mind when I picked this up because none of my blazers can fit me guys same thing going on I seem to have accumulated some strong arms and then ain't from lifting weights speaking of lifting weights I also bought this book on the new rules of lifting for women I want to start lifting weights because that's gonna help to get back my tone um, my tone in my arms my muscle have gone down I've always had naturally muscular all those skinny arms and I seem to have lost those so yeah and I finally pinpointed the reason for my my weight gain was because of hormone imbalance and I had when I had my surgery my myomectomy they had put in an IUD and that was totally throwing everything off so I've taken that out and just just as a follow-up because I've been burning you guys with my weight stuff so I thought this book would be helpful and uh, I picked it up for a few bucks I think that was at Valley Village. I also picked up this beautiful plaid skirt. It's Tommy Hilfiger. Also, I had the holidays in mind for this. This was $6.99. It's just a beautiful plaid with navy blue and red skirt. And I, I'm going to love wearing this with a navy top or I will probably go with red. Um, yeah, so that was awesome. It was only $6.99. So this is today's stuff and these were all 50 off. I got these, all of this that I'm going to show you from today's Valley Village haul, they were a total of $32. So I am very happy about this. I got this little house coat duster as we call it back in the West Indies. <laughs> Um, or robe. This is a robe. It's beautiful. It's by Alfred Song, which is a Canadian designer. I don't know if it's meant for inside or out, but I'm wearing this inside. It's just a beautiful 
fabric it drapes very well it has some beautiful flowers on it it did not have the um, the band around it but I have lots of bands so it should be fine um, I just absolutely love it and I am definitely as as I've said before I'm a robe girl so this was half off $7.99 I also got a pair of jeans can't have enough in my new body <laughs> I need to re-up on my jeans um, because they're just not fitting me as well as I want them to I don't want to look like a sausage y'all I do not want to look for a, like a sausage so I got this guest jeans I like guest jeans this line the one with the tab there because they fit very well and this is a sexy curvy jean in a 11-12 yeah but it's a skinny jean it has some stretch in it so I'm hopeful that it will fit and it's just a regular um, what do you call it skinny jean and I'm looking for more skinny jeans just because on sale because most of my jeans are my summer jeans that are ripped and I'm kind of over the ripped fashions now that I'm not as slim slim anymore and I need to have casual stuff to wear to work Another thing that I got was this. And by the way, if you're curious, my lipstick is from Lip Bar. I was in Florida early on. We're in December. At the end of November, mid to end of November. So it mostly was a vacation slash family trip to help out my aunt who has moved to a nursing home. So I went there basically to clean her house out and clear it out and get it ready because it's being sold. So I went to Target with this in mind to get some lip bar products and I got this one which seems to be a cult favorite boss lady and I love this red. It's a matte red. It's beautiful and it actually it seems like it's very becoming on all skin tones. So if you haven't tried lip bar try it it's like 12 us dollars we don't have target here anymore so that's why i made my way to target just for that anyway let's move on so i got this tunic looking dress by cable and gauge oh god struggle is real my eyesight is totally messed up too and i love my glasses which i don't wear much because i just don't um yeah Cable and George hats. This is a cowl neck sweater dress, tunic dress, and it's all it's like an A-line, but it seems like it will fit nicely with tights and so on. I could wear this to work. Um, it's like on the knee and definitely just a basic uh, knit dr uh, dress, which I will actually wear because it seems comfy it doesn't seem like it's restricted i'm just trying to be comfortable y'all just trying to be comfortable and i will make it work um it is a large but i like a large in things like this because i don't want them to be too fitted and clingy and showing up my tummy which is not intact <laughs> okay so i got this for 50 percent off it was 9.49 the jeans were 9.49 also the reason I went back was because um, I did go earlier on in the week. I love this. This is a sweater. I love it. I love it. Thrifting is just, <laughs> I just love thrifting. Anyway, so I went back because I had gone sometime in the week and saw this skirt and I left it. And I was like thinking about this skirt for just the whole week just because I was like I should have gotten it and I went in there to get it not knowing that there was a sale guys not knowing that there was a sale and so my skirt was there so it's a full length pleated skirt and I do have on a pleated skirt right now I'm coming from church and this is my little way of this is my way of not tucking in but making it look I saw this on my Google feed um, so you put a belt on and then you pull up this you pull up the sweater to as much as you want and then it comes over could pull it up more and then that's it so this is a pleated skirt that I thrifted too and it looked fantastic um, but yeah so I'm really into pleated skirts not lately always have been but I was looking for a full length one and this gray one is dynamite it is full length it's a big size 
it says 13 to it says 14 but that's cool because it's an elastic waist and um i want it to be like ankle length so yeah it is gonna be ankle length i need to do i'm gonna do a separate video with my looks yeah i am um so this is quite heavy it's beautiful it's gorgeous look at it it's just going for miles and miles and miles and miles right so it's a nice heavy fabric um I don't think it's wool because wool would itch and I would not be happy but I definitely love love this another thing guys I have so many updates um last week I underwent oral surgery um, because of a root canal that just went wonky and just oh I've spent so much money several thousands of dollars on this root canal having it initially then having it retreated I told these fools to take it out take out the tooth because what's the point and now I had to take out the tooth but with that there was stuff going on under the the cap and when they realized it was like there was no, no tooth to be saved anyway right so anyway Warning, the thing is, I'm just, I'm still not, I'm on a modified diet, I still can't eat, and I say that to say, don't do root canals, this is just an aside. So anyway, back to my thrift haul. Um, I don't know why I mentioned that. Maybe I just wanted to let you guys know. So yeah, so I was out of commission for a while, I lost several days at work, but, you know, I just want my mouth to get together before I get into Christmas because if I can't eat in Christmas I'm just gonna die. I, needless to say I've been hungry for the last almost two weeks because I have to eat soft foods and liquids and the upside to that is that I hope I lose some weight. Kind of feel good, kind of feel good. But anyway guys, um, the vision I have for this is gonna be tremendous because I see myself wearing like you see how I tuck this in with this skirt? I'm going to pull out this one here, which is coming up in my show and tell. Like this winter white with this. Mm. Fantastic. So I got this for five bucks. It was $9.99, girls and guys. If there are any guys out there, I holler at you and I thank you for watching. Although I'm so inconsistent. So I got this boat neck sweater which I see the potential in it is a 2x it's Kinar woman I think Kinar you find in maybe Marshalls and hair um, winners but it's a winter white um, on, uh, I think it's a blend of rabbit's hair and Angora um, I'm gonna have to wear something under this because rabbit hair will itch me okay so this is this the top so I plan to do the talking flap over business I did with this one that I have on. So this is fantastic. It's nice and roomy. I can wear it outside or inside. And at the back has an inverted pleat right here. So that was what kind of got me to. So this was um, $11.49. So I have of that. Another thing I got today at the sale was this beautiful J. Crew sweater, which was gray. I was looking for a gray sweater too because I bought some. I've been do also doing quite a bit of real tears shopping. Not because of Black Friday, but I need bottoms. I need bottoms for work and because I am exploring my options. Nobody at my work watches this, you know. I want to have like interview ready um, clothing because I've had some changes at work, which everybody knows. So even if somebody sees it, everybody knows that people are leaving and so on. But I just wanted to get my interviewing stuff together. Um, but anyway, I just bought a wide leg uh, dress pad that's gorgeous and I needed a gray top with it. This is not quite what I want, but I want gray. Um, but this is a beautiful J. Crew um, sweater. I like the sleeves are quite roomy and I picture myself scrunching them up and it has um, like a white inlay here so it has a cute little split at the side I like a winter white winter white is another of my favorite little neutral beigey colors so love this this I'm gonna wear to work um, and yeah I think this is a good one last but not least 
but last but not least yeah so those were the things I got today at the Valley Village 50% off pre-sale um, on my way from church to I had stop at Plato's closet because I'm always looking for stuff um, I wanted some sweaters maybe for Christmas and I found this beautiful chenille sweater from Primark Primark is like a H&M H &M type store in um, I think it's in the UK I don't know if it's throughout Europe but UK so look at this color I wasn't sure if I wanted it but the girl was like I was questioning if this color would be nice on me I kind of knew it would be but I'm just like mm, I don't know I don't know I don't know but the girl was like there was no tag on it and I said check it if the price is okay I'll get it if not then I won't but it was great it's um, extra large so oversized that's the look and then I can put this with my jeans um, but I love the color it is so festive it's so vibrant and I love chenille it's so warm and cuddly so this was ten dollars there was no sale actually there was a sale buy one get the other for 50 off which I had somewhere in the back when I punched in my number it tells you what discount you're eligible for and I just bought a pair of jeans which was kind of pricey but I know how much these go for their page jeans and I know I need jeans um, that fit me now and so here we go this will be nice um, just a beautiful I, I have I own page jeans which I have bought in regular retail and they the only reason I don't wear them is because I I don't fit them but I just needed one more to kind of tie me over and it has a little spit right there I didn't have one like that so these were $35 was a little bit pricey so I bought this and got this for half price or I could have then done 10% off but then I figured let me just do this just because I'm gonna be shopping there anyway so um yeah love my page jeans they're 31 waist and I picture wearing these two together or this with another one and then with my Gucci belt my mom around this tuck in the front leave out the back bling yeah um I miss you guys I really have I uh, I just struggle with being organized and i'm obsessed with watching shows on tv so that's i spend most of my spare time doing that <laughs> oh that's terrible but i'm loving my life guys life after divorce is just i'm flourishing i'm happy although there are uncertainties at work i am just living my best life as much as i possibly can um and i you know just a word for people who are going through um relationship struggles and stuff i know they're um i mean i'm in my 40s and it seems like you know the, the way you plan your life is not necessarily how it turns out okay um another sister on here um who's from toronto tony's going through it now with um uh, getting a divorce and all of that stuff listen to me guys you you go through it and you will be better for it in the end um, you might feel a bit down and I'm not saying that you know it's all wonderful um, and and whatever the process it's a process but you have to go to that process knowing full well that you will be fine you definitely will be fine a year now I, it's like I'm at a year and a half after my divorce I um, we separated in 2015 yeah 2015 time is going by and um, I would never have thought this would have happened to me especially in my 40s I have parents that are married have been married this month it's good they're gonna celebrate their 50th year anniversary um, and I know what it means to be married in terms of having observed my parents so it's not an easy thing to kind of decide that your happiness is what you value more and you have to take those steps but I just want to give you guys hope I just want to give you guys encouragement um, whether if you're married or just in a long-term relationship or just a, a short-term relationship I mean things always get better just focus on yourself focus on yourself after the after everything is 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 over and 
cling to whatever your belief system is i believe in in jesus and you will see that your life will just it's just a peace peace right yeah i just i'm just living my best most peaceful life so um i didn't mean to go into all of that but i just felt moved to say that you know there will be a peace that passes all understanding because i could not be happier right now and it's not like i've sworn off men and i am just like bitter no i am happy i date and i date frequently when i decide that i want to put my um netflix and my stuff on pause and go have a bite or whatever yeah i'm out there in the world but i choose to do what i want to do and what is best for my mental well guys toodles take care and i'm gonna try and do better i'm gonna try to do better okay bye guys if i don't i'm hoping to see you guys before uh, before christmas but if not have a merry christmas or happy holidays and take care and I'll see you again. Bye.